Okay, that's making the food a little bit spicier, but it's okay. No pasa nada. Oh. <sighs> We're gonna get tacos today. Plus, also, gotta show you this. I told y'all, I'm gonna start doing a little bit of podcast stuff. So, I kind of need the space that, uh, you know, the the area that I used to do cub crash on it's a pigsty so i'm gonna use that uh, bin that i just bought to put all the stuff in but before that i'm about to eat 20 dollars worth of tacos middle of trafico all right i am lucky that i got here when i did because there are like a million like a lot of white people here it's crazy i really didn't know that white people ate tacos there's a lot of white people here and I got here before all of them. Now I gotta find a place. Now I gotta find a place to go eat tacos. We're gonna beat all this traffic. You don't realize how awesome your town is until you are off and don't have to worry about nothing for the weekend. Oh, where are we gonna park? I wanna be as far away from people as I can be right now. Let me come by Mario. <clears throat> no, I don't like wearing a sweater at the end of at the beginning of May, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Work. All right, let's see the tacos. See, I got carnitas, tripas, and bistec for Americans at steak. And I got a medium salsa, and I got a new. They say it's a like another medium, so I like it. It's a green salsa. It's the creamy one. And I got a Mexican Coke. Every time I've used my truck lately to try to like film and talk to y'all, footage don't come out too great. But I don't care. We're gonna try it again today. Got poor little chili. Mmm. Carnitas? Muy buenas. I think carnitas is like the funniest Mexican word ever though. Because, like, people who don't speak Spanish, they still try to say carnitas and roll their R. If you don't speak Spanish, but you ever, like, want to know the rules of Spanish, you don't roll your R unless it's a double R. Carnitas. See the frost coming off that? That was good. All right, three pataco. Gonna get a little chili. Is a other chili? Cebollitas. Doing this one hand is not that easy. Uh, get get the salsas to mix up a little bit. Mm. Every time I say it's not worth spending $20 on tacos, that was worth $20, just that one taco. Yeah, the Tripa tacos are a little bit better. I gotta admit it. But I'm a huge fan of Tripa tacos. Jalapeno. If I didn't have, like, if I didn't have all these sauces, I would eat the jalapeno every time. But, we literally, I call the salsa chili, so, I already have my peppers. I probably went a little hard on eating the onions earlier, but I am one-handed right now. So, let's put what's left of the onions that we can on a steak taco. Ooh, thumbnail. Very good. All 
I would say we're a little bit more burnt, the meat. But I'm not gonna complain, because it's still really good. The taco itself. Mmm. <sighs> okay, that's making the food a little bit spicier, but it's okay. No pasa nada. <sighs> so I gotta get home. I gotta clean my room, which is also my studio. And I gotta put everything in that bin. I need this bin, really. So I've been wanting to go camping, but... It, it's crazy. The moment I buy like a bunch of camping equipment, all my friends are out of nowhere like, we don't want to go camping no more. So I'm like, I'm kind of I'm kind of luck. So now I got all this camping equipment that I want to use and I'm going to use it, but I don't, I need, I need it organized. I need it put in something that I can just make sure I know where it is. So when I need it, I can grab it. And then I'll be able to clean off my studio. <sighs> Please don't watch that. It's a little spicy. Uh, okay, can I tell you the honest truth? I actually love when my food is so spicy and sour or so spicy and sweet that like I'm crying. Like that's how I like to eat my food. Sometimes like my family is like, you know, you can't handle the spicy, you're crying. No, like I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. I'm crying with tears of happiness. Let me see. Time to watch some movies. Or something. Oh yeah, the new Banda Recordos album came out today. Jefe de Jefes is one of the tracks. I'm so excited about that actually. Oh yeah, and I've been watching the Ned's Classified or the Ned's Secret about. Oh well, what it? Ned's Classified podcast. That's what it is. Cookie. Whoa. This is what I want to watch. The Perra Noche wedding finally came out, so now we get to watch everybody else's vlogs. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys. Hey! Oh my gosh, these just look lit. Acepto. Teresa, ¿aceptas por esposo a Arturo de la Barrera y Azuela? Jorge, no te puedes casar con ella. Sinead, ¿ah? Break up on two. Perra noche tiene... Oh, I can't speak Spanish. Uh, perra noche tiene... Perra... Pero Anoche had one of the greatest weddings. Of Pero Anoche tiene un boda muy grandísimo, muy grande, muy es excepcional. Dude, they had a crunk wedding. Pero Anoche had like 50 Cent Eminem music playing, pero también tiene la música de puro mexicano, la banda, norteñas, corridos, marachi. Man, George rode up on a horse on the first night. Man, these wedding videos have been lit de perra noche. And man, everyone else has put out them vlogs. No! I'm jelly. Porque si tu es, si tu son mexicano, Te quieres una boda como esa. Un boda muy magnífico. Muy granioso. Muy excelente. It's a cool wedding. Hey, all them tacos. Now I need to get to what I was going to do tonight. Hope you had a good night. I hope y'all watched this video and enjoyed it. I did a taco video like this one time. I have no idea why in the world y'all liked it so much. But. It actually got like a hundred views, which is weird on my channel. <laughs> Go, like, subscribe if this is where it ends. Bye.